Welcome to the NFT Meta Jungle. I am Emma, aka Nifty Meta Girl, and on today's episode, we're going to be sharing episode two of our Meta Jungle and Super Chief exhibit, and this is Discovering Photography in Web3. And I'm very excited to be sharing both about these artists that are highlighted in this particular part of this um, exhibit, but also the beautiful photographs that are also being exhibited. And a little bit of a backstory, this is episode two of this series, so you're welcome Welcome to check out episode one, where we were highlighting documentary photography. This, we're going to be talking about the portraits included in this particular part of the series. And this is um, highlighting an in real life exhibit that Alpha Trilogy and I have curated um, and exhibiting in Venice, Italy for the month of November. Um, our goal with this um, exhibit is to help highlight photographers that both have a very strong foothold in photography, both in real life, but also um, those that have um, that are finding their footing in the NFT space. So we're combining um, people that have a lot of experience with those that may be coming into photography as a career, um, but really helping to highlight opportunities people have to connect with photography here in the NFT space. And our concentration for curating this exhibit has been to also include a variety of photographs and genres of photography. All of the photographs um, highlighted within this series are pieces of Alpha Trilogy's vault collection, which are really exciting. And we've um, poured a lot of time and attention into highlighting and curating pieces that we felt really told the story and really highlighted opportunities for photography in Web3. Um, if you're close to Venice, Italy, we encourage you to please go and see the exhibit in person, but we also are creating this series to dive a little bit deeper into the backstories of these collections, photographs, and photographers for those of you that are would like to learn more about them but also are not able to make the trip to see the exhibit in real life. Um, in this particular series, we're going to be highlighting five different photographers and eight photographs. And so we do have a photographer that we are um, sharing several pieces of his in this particular section of the exhibit. And um, in total, this exhibit is going to have, this exhibit does have 98 photos, 90 photographers, and is highlighting nine different genres of photography. So very excited to be able to share and hopefully this is, you'll find pieces that connect with you. Um, we really wanted to give a variety of artwork, experience, and genres really to find let people connect with things that they might find interesting, but also hopefully be surprised and connect with pieces that they may not have expected. Um, now, the first photographer I would like to share with um, share with you today is his name is Joey L. And on Twitter, he goes by at joeyl.com. And Joey is Canadian born. He's a self-taught photographer and director. And he has a phenomenal portfolio. Um, he has come into the NFT space and had several drops already. Um, this particular series is from his Ethiopia portraits collection that re recently dropped with Quantum, um, which is a curated platform. Um, but Joey L, um, his, if you check out his website, you will find that not only is he an amazing photographer, but he also is um, an amazing director and cinemato cinematographer as well. So um, he's able to really capture images in such an interesting way and tell amazing stories. And his body of work um, goes from fine art, personal, all the way, personal projects all the way into high profile commissions. So he has worked with some very high profile celebrities during his career, um, but then also has been able to highlight um, some areas of the world that may not always be um, highlighted. And with this particular series, I think that that would fall, that it would fall into that category. Um, in this series, um, from the description of the collection, I think it describes it really, really well. Um, but this is a collection directly linked um, to his Genesis drop on Quantum. Um, so it is a continuation. But in this particular series, um, we are seeing very, very beautiful portraits of different individuals um, in Ethiopia that Joey came in contact with. Um, this body of work was shot over 13 years, which is pretty incredible to see a body of work um, that has such an extensive 
intensive time devoted to creating it. And it has also been, cre been these images have also now been um, curated into a photo book as well. So that is something you can find on his website to be able to really delve in. But the, the sincerity and the appreciation for the people photographed in these images is just really, really um, intriguing and heartwarming. Um, this is a collection that really had a lot of um, attention with collectors in the NFT space and sold out in a very, very short amount of time. Um, but the quote that is included in the description of this particular collection says, for years we dragged our pneumatic studio tent across almost every region of Ethiopia. In our tent, everyone was equal. We captured p pure magic. Every kind of person entered and had their portrait taken. The tent was our little fantasy world. It was the Ethiopia we dreamed of, even when the reality outside of it was something stricken with searing pain. Each portrait was a tribute to the distinct region of the country. Disconnected cultural threads were woven together in a cohesive visual style in order to truly see Ethiopia, which itself is a modern nation state, but is also the sum of all the diverse people who inhabit it. And I just don't think that the collection could probably be described any better than that quote. Um, in this particular series that we are highlighting, we have curated three photos out of Alpha Trilogy's collection of this, co of this series. And so we're highlighting um, the portrait of Abernash, a tea collector. And this um, image is just absolutely beautiful. You would, these images look like they are captured in a studio. And I think it's also really, really notable that natural light was used to capture all of these photographs as well, which is just a testament, you know, to to Joey's talent and his also attention to detail. Um, you would never believe that these were captured in a tent in, you know, in a remote setting, but it's just, just absolutely beautiful what they were able to capture. Um, but I absolutely love just the emotion that the, um, the, the tea collector that Aberdash has on his face and also seeing just um, his traditional um, dress and it's just a very, very, very beautiful photo. Um, we're also highlighting one of my favorite images, um, portrait at, of Askanu and her son Habatamu. And um, this is just, again, the lighting and the composure is just absolutely beautiful. Um, the storytelling that is captured within just the emotion in the photo is, is really, really moving, um, but just a beautiful beautiful photo. Um, and the third photo from this collection that we are that we decided to include is portrait of Bishiro, Bishiro with woven carpet. And again, the, the dress, the lighting, the emotion that is shown within this photo are all absolutely captivating and just very, very beautiful. And um, Alpha Trilogy had um, has said that he is a huge fan of Joey L's work. In fact, he said that being a fan is an understatement. Um, and not only is it um, he, he has a lot of respect for Joey, but also the art that he creates. And um, a really cool detail is um, the amount of storytelling that Joey L. Um, shares with his about his collection. And I know that he has shared the backstory of each of these images with Alpha Trilogy as they've been collected, which is such a really, such a cool detail and such a cool connection. Um, and it really does add value to these images, you know, knowing um, how passionate he is about the stories that he's telling. And in fact, um, after after Alpha Trilogy collected the the third photo here um, with the woven carpet, Joey actually shared that the carpet in the photo um, is is at his home, and he purchased it from Bashero after um, after this photo session. Um, so it's just amazing to know that real life connection and how um, how intimate these images are, and a deep connection with Joey L's life. Um, but definitely beautiful, beautiful photo photos to include in this series. And um, Joey L is someone that I know is going to make waves in the NFT space and also has such a strong following in the traditional art world as well. But I encourage you to um, check out his website. There's many, many ways you can learn about the work that he's creating and um, definitely somebody to, um, to be watching in the future.
And the next photographer I would like to share with you is Roberto Pazzi. And this is, um, he is both a um, documentary and portrait photographer. He's um, won multiple awards and he's a very well published travel photographer and he um, the work that he creates is just absolutely mind-boggling um, he travels to these remote areas captures images and portraits of um, people all over the world that so when you're looking through images in his collections you feel like you have traveled to a distant land you're just over you're overwhelmed by a sense of with the dress and the locations and how remote these areas are. And you can tell that Roberto is able to build a strong connection and a strong sense of trust with these people as, they're, as he's invited in and able to capture moments that just the average person would never get to experience in their life. Um, and the image that we have included from his um his portraits by Roberto Pazia collection is uh, Danny Warrior number five, and um, there this is a a, a portrait of a. Um, of a warrior captured in Indonesia, and just the, it's an absolutely beautiful photograph and really marrying not just documentary, but fine art. And that sense and that, um, that meshing is just an absolute, makes me in awe of what he's able to create and produce. Um, and again, this piece is just absolutely gorgeous. The texture, the lighting, everything that is that is um, comprising of this photograph is just absolutely gorgeous. And um, with this particular piece, um, Alpha Trilogy has... Um, has actually quoted, been quoted to say that Roberto Pazzi visits forgotten worlds and documents people via some of the best portraits I've ever seen. And I think that that really, really sums up everything about Roberto's um, portfolio and the work that he does. Um, you have, I know that you've probably seen his work if you follow travel photography at all. He's been published in major, many, many major publications. Um, so definitely someone that it's great to have within the NFT space and um, one that you should definitely check out. And the next image that we have included in this particular part, this particular series is titled The Piper. And the artist is Akashe Nick. And this is from the Portraits Collection, Faces of India by Akshe Nick. And as you can see, this is a young boy playing a flute and it's a really, really beautiful image. And um, the description notes that gracefully playing traditional instruments like the surna and the daemon, the musicians of Latic put up a great show for us with several musical pieces accompanied with dancers. It was a sight of pomp and cheer, which I think that, that Akshay did a great job of capturing that. And um, in this collection, um, um, Akshay really wants to highlight that as a travel and street photographer, he likes to take long strides across India to capture emotions of the vivid culture. And you can really see that highlighted within this collection. There's a number of, um, of people that are um, representing their culture and engaging in, in everyday activities. And really great to include this particular photograph in this series. Um, and one of the things that Alpha Trilogy has said about this particular piece is, I'm a sucker for splashes of color against a muted background, especially when they highlight a face full of concentration and effort. But very much um, more of a candid portrait, but yet still um, very, very beautifully captured and a great one to include in this particular series. Um, the next photographer that we have highlighted, his name is Samya Brada, and Samya is an award-winning street and documentary photographer, and he has won several different awards um, and also is a two-time TEDx speaker, and he's an established educator, curator, and mentor within the photography community. Um, Samya is also a photographer that's quite active within the Meta Jungle community, and it's been a pleasure to get to know him better, and he really does does um, a lot to balance both his involvement in the NFT space and also promoting photography within his in real life enterprises as well. Um, this particular collection is one that is very close to him personally. Um, I've heard him speak about it several times and um, 
not only is this collection very personal to him um, because of the significance, but also it was shot in his home, t his home community, um, which makes, makes it even that much more special. And so um, he shot it in the remote districts of West Bengal over a four to five year period. And um, the collection is titled Known Unknown, and it's really aimed at normalizing us wearing masks to cope with social pressures, which is, I love the background of the collection because it's something that we can all relate to, um, but yet he also um, uses a lot of influence and a lot of scenes that are very specific to um, a particular festival that is happening in West Bengal. So love that he is um, capturing these beautiful moments and the significance that he ties into our everyday life. Um, and Samia, in addition to being a very talented photographer, is also a great writer. And something I enjoy about all of his pieces is he really puts a lot of thought into the message that he includes in the description. Um, so with this particular piece, um, he says, what makes someone legendary? Is it their celebrated wins or is it their most exciting time? It could be the good news that they chose to share with the world or bad news that they can easily mask under their everyday go-to face. Our lives are a tale of light and shadow. We have our share of highs and lows in lifetime, even to make it memorable. But what makes someone time spent on the planet legendary is how we let their moments of light and shadows shape them. The constant reminder that it's okay to be vulnerable sometimes soothes the inner child within us. Going through as well as learning from our dark phases of, in life, we come to assess everything in our third eye. A third eye is nothing but knowledge, and we've bestowed upon our endurance to adversities. And um, in this particular um, image, it was shot in the deepest interiors of, Royal Beng of rural Bengal, and the picture is symbolic of the place we belong. Even though we live in shade under dilapidated corners of our rustic household, we make sure to put up a mask that instantly stands out of the darkness to give an illusion of a, of a happening lifestyle. This low light environmental portrait takes us into the life of a 17 year old boy who dresses up as Lord Krishna to participate in the rituals of Ganyan, which that involves intense face painting and fire play. It not only shapes the vivid view of the face that he puts on himself, but also a hint of his unusual, of his usual environment. So really love that juxtaposition there of, you know, creating this other really extravagant, beautiful, you know, image, but yet capturing him in his everyday environment really um, creates such a beautiful narrative there. Um, and Alpha, Alpha Trilogy has been quoted to say that Samia is a legend, thus everything about this photo is fitting. And I completely agree with him, even the name of the photo, which is the legend within, is quite fitting. And again, Samia is, um, has such a talent of capturing beautiful images, telling those stories, and also using those words to highlight the, the story behind the image. I just really find his work so captivating and so glad that we've included this particular piece in this portrait series. And the next photograph that we are including in this particular series is called Waterman Number 16. And this is from the Waterman series photographed by Brandon Magnus. And a really cool fact is Brandon is actually the senior manager of photography for the Atlanta Falcons. And his portfolio is captures so many different sports personalities and also um, musicians along the way. So it's been fun to get to know a little bit more about Brandon and also his background and um, see what work he has shared within the NFT community. Um, this particular series um, beautifully captures um, primarily surfers. Um, and the detail that Brandon has shared about this is a waterman is a common term in the surfing culture. It's not rank or title for surfers, but a mindset, a lifestyle, a way of being. It is an identity for water, sports enthusiasts, people who push their limits beyond the average athlete and connect with the ocean. This portrait series focuses on paddlers, surfers, swimmers, and people who have an affinity to the ocean and water. These moments were captured once these watermen had finished their sessions in the ocean, tired, dripping with water, and a bit gritty. 
And I just, I absolutely love that this particular piece, just like he says, just captures that essence where you can feel the emotion in this man's face. You can also tell that he's a bit tired, but you can also feel that passion for what he does coming through his emotion. And um, just a really, really beautiful series and so authentically shot. Um, so this was one that as we were reviewing Alpha Trilogy's um, collection, it was one that had just stood out and um, I'm so glad to have included it in the curation here. Um, and Brandon has also, again, he has a lot of history with um, being highlighted in various publications. So you can see his work in, in ESPN, Sports Illustrated, The Players Tribune, Hockey News, New York Times, Rolling Stone, Time, Men's Health, and a very wide variety of other publications. So again, if you are a sports fan, you have probably seen Brandon's work along the way, but very happy to highlight it here within this curation of work. Um, and the last photographer that we'll be highlighting in this particular series, his name is Sefa Yamik. And Sefa is a very well-known and famous portrait and fashion photographer from Turkey. Um, and his portraits have also been published in lots of different publications from National Geographic, Paris Match, L'Official, and he also has had three solo exhibitions under the name of Untitled Portraits. His work has also been featured in many different exhibitions. And this particular piece is from his Holy Spirits collection, and it's Holy Spirits 26. And and um, this entire collection is one that shows so much personality and connection with the, the people within the portraits. Um, absolutely a beautiful series, and I love this particular image. Um, there's just such an authenticity there. I love how um, the man being photographed has how his hair is a bit wild and blown in the wind, um, but you can also tell in his eyes that he just has such a bright spirit. Um, and there is a quote included with this particular collection I'd like to share. Um, in this world, there is very little harmony between the inner and outer life. But if we live in according to the will of God, then there will, then the time will come when there will be perfect harmony between the inner and the outer life forever. The outer will be exactly like the inner and the inner exactly like the outer. And by his grace, we shall become perfect like our father in heaven. And this is Sadhu Sandir Singh. And um, I just think that it is such a true um, statement for this particular piece. Um, it is just one of those, you can tell that he, he, the inner thoughts of this particular person shine through. And I just think that it's a wonderful quote to include with this particular collection. Um, and one thing that... Um, that Sefa had shared is in this collection, um, he was really trying to show the viewer, the feelings from these dedicated people through worship, sacrifice, peace, seeking, and all that you can discover in their eyes. And um, from viewing Sefa's work, I can tell you he is a master of capturing people's emotion through their eyes. And this is a wonderful, wonderful example of that. Um, this piece is, is really captivating and was, again, one that made so much sense to include in this particular series. Um, and this, an interesting detail about this particular piece is this is actually um, one of Alpha Trilogy's favorite portraits out of his collection. And it's also one of the very first NFT photographers that he ever collected. Um, so that is a pretty, a pretty cool detail. And Sefe um, is an amazing photographer to help those um, that are interested in NFT photography be begin their journey of collecting. Um, but again, I hope you've enjoyed learning about each of the photographers that have been included in this series. We've been able to highlight five notable photographers in the portrait series and also eight amazing photographs. Um, and so we are going to be continuing this series and sharing the 12 different um, series that we have included in this particular exhibit. Um, we have episode one, highlighting documentary photography, um, and this will be series two, featuring portrait photography. The next three episodes will be featuring landscape photography. So super excited to be sharing those with you as well. So our goal with this particular in real life exhibit is to help highlight photographers that are working to create trust within the ecosystem and helping helping those that are wanting to learn about NFT photography um, be connected with those individuals. We hope that you have found something that interests you and we look forward to continuing to 
share these beautiful photographs and talented photographers in our future episodes. And if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe so you'll be notified of our future episodes. And you can also connect with us on Twitter at MetaJungleNFT. Again, we hope you enjoyed this episode and we look forward to next time.